Thank you Ardian News. Late Night Roundup, Jeff Sessions is the human antidote to the Voting Rights Act. Late Night hosts took aim at the recent developments in the White House, from the confirmation of Jeff Sessions to the Nordstrom controversy. On The Daily Show, Trevor Noah discussed the furor surrounding Elizabeth Warren being silenced when she tried to read a letter from Coretta Scott King. Comics, including Trevor Noah and Stephen Colbert, discuss the influence of Trump's controversial adviser and the confirmation of Betsy DeVos. This is the absurdity of the Senate, he said. Mitch McConnell is attacking Elizabeth Warren for attacking the integrity of Alabama Senator and Attorney General nominee Jeff Sessions only because she's reading a letter that Dr. King's wife wrote criticizing Sessions blocking black people's voting rights. And that is apparently against the rules. So basically the way it works in the Senate, then, is a senator can do bad things, but you can't point out that a senator is doing bad things, which sounds less like the government and more like the Catholic Church. Noah then spoke to Warren herself and while he insisted that the story had benefited her in a potential 2020 campaign, she believed that the most rewarding outcome was that more people were now reading the letter. It's helped us have a better democratic conversation, she said. Noah also spoke about Nordstrom's decision to drop Ivanka Trump's failing fashion line, a choice made because of poor sales that some believe is associated with her father's policies. For someone who would have won the popular vote, it sure seems like Trump is unpopular, he said. Obviously what happened here is, millions of dead illegal immigrants aren't buying Ivanka's shoes. He also speculated about a potential solution. I wouldn't be shocked if he sent in SEAL Team 6 to buy all of her clothes. On Full Frontal with Samantha B, the host spent time talking about the good work that CNN has been doing this week, including Jake Tapper's interview with Kellyanne Conway, a flaxen-haired fountain of lies. B also referred to Betsy DeVos as a sentient bag of hairspray fumes and Jeff Sessions as the human antidote to the Voting Rights Act. She also played footage from CNN's debate between Bernie Sanders and Ted Cruz on the future of health care, a battle between the socialist and the Slytherin. Grim Reaper-esque Stephen Bannon encourages Donald Trump to tell Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull your reef is failing. I can honestly say I would give my left tit to have either one of you mansplaining pricks in the White House right now, she said. B also discussed Trump's decision to restrict funding to sanctuary cities and the absurd way that Fox tends to cover them. For the attentive Fox News viewer, sanctuary cities are dystopian hell pits of lawlessness where hordes of non-English-speaking illegal immigrants roam the streets at night eating stolen tacos and murdering as many people as they want with no consequences whatsoever because crime-loving liberals swoop in to save them from punishment, she said. But she pointed out that these cities tend to have lower crime rates and that in New York in particular, police have been preoccupied by having to guard Trump Tower and the wife that Trump is too proud to divorce. She went on, threatening to withhold money from sanctuary cities makes as much sense as Macaulay Culkin's parents trying to dock his allowance. On The Late Show, Stephen Colbert started by also taking aim at Jeff Sessions, referring to him as Trump's attorney general and baby grandpa hybrid. He went on to talk about the decision to silence Warren, joking, it's all part of the GOP's February message, happy Black History Month, now shut up about the bad stuff, keep it light. He also spoke about the absurdity of letting the male members of the Senate read parts of the letter while Warren was denied. These days a black person can't get their message heard even when a white person is saying it unless that white person is a guy, he said. He also joked about Ivanka Trump's failing brand and Nordstrom's decision to stop selling her clothes, evidently not a lot of women wanted to buy clothes that would make them attractive to their fathers. He praised CNN's Jake Tapper for his interview with Kellyanne Conway, Cruella DeVille's less popular sister. Tapper took her to task for the many falsehoods that Trump has been spouting, yet Conway said it's important to remember the many true things he has said. It's like, excuse me. Officer, there are many times that I drive when I'm not drunk, Colbert said. On Late Night with Seth Meyers, he referred to the Nordstrom troubles and claimed, AutoZone also announced they'll no longer carry Eric and Donald Jr.'s hair grease. He then referenced another protest by New York students against Trump. 
is protesting just going to be a part of our daily lives now? He asked. How do you think Michelle Obama feels that Trump has gotten more kids outside in 19 days than she did in two terms? She devoted eight years to getting young people exercising. Without even trying, Trump has them walking 100 city blocks a day. Trevor Noah and Stephen Colbert took apart the latest government developments and Kellyanne Conway's Bowling Green Massacre comments. He detailed the latest indication that Americans are failing to support their new president. The latest polls show President Trump has an approval rating in the low 40s, which means he's probably about to dump it for one in the low 20s, he said. He also joked about a recent revelation about Trump's sleeping patterns. In a recent interview, President Trump revealed that he's only been sleeping four or five hours a night, while Ben Carson has still been getting a solid 24, he said. On The Tonight Show, Jimmy Fallon continued the Nordstrom theme, while Trump's tweeting about a department store, a lot of people are wondering what the return policy is for presidents. He also brought up the controversial travel ban and Trump's continued defense of it. Earlier today he defended the ban by saying even a bad high school student would support it. Then Betsy DeVos said, thanks to me we'll have plenty of those, he said.